What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and I'm on the kayak today. We're doing some crabbing, some late season crabbing. Hoping to get a couple Dungeness crabs. I'm out here with Nick Fish, somewhere back there, and Die Hard Fishing. So beautiful out here. It's amazing, no wave at all. This is beautiful. Here we go, my first. Ooh, ooh, looks like a keeper. Right, right over five and three quarters. Nice. Ooh, there's one crab already. Thanks to Nick Fish right here. Oh no, <laughs> that was all you, man. Crappie that we caught the other uh, the other episode. I'm gonna try to fly my drone on this kayak. All right, look out, Adam. There we go. Got them. We're on kayaks, so just individual boats. So it's pretty easy to stay away from each other, especially in this super open, open water. This is safer than waiting at the line at the supermarket. This is our supermarket right here. Pulling my trap only after like 30 minutes. Ugh. Here we go. Ooh, got two in there. Woo! Oh, wait, three. Let's see. Oh, that, one that one's cool. a little short. Oh, it's good. Hey, the crappie. The crappie works. Dude, that looks so good. I would eat that right now. <laughs> this is short for sure. The head meat on that. I got one. Yeah, it's way short. Male Dungeness. About a quarter inch short. That's a good spot. I'd eat that yeah, though. pretty decent spot though. Yeah. Yeah, next season's crab. All right, I'm gonna drop it right back in this spot. Hope some bigger ones show up uh, this next time. All right, here's my other trap here. Is this, this is mine, right? Yeah, that's mine. It's got my name. Ooh, I see some in there. They're all pretty short though. Oh man, it's, it's all Dungeness though. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is legal. Keeper, keeper, keeper. All right, well, got two keepers. That's good, I'm cool with that. Okay guys, now I'm back. I'm gonna cook these crabs and I decided that I'm gonna make crab ramen. Because when I did that lobster ramen, 
a lot of people were like, I wonder if crab ramen would be good. And I'm kind of curious too. And I was thinking it's probably not gonna be as good as lobster ramen, but maybe it will be. So I'm gonna make crab ramen right now. So let's see how that tastes. I'm pretty excited for it. First, I'm gonna start with the eggs because that's gonna need to cure a little bit. So I'm gonna start with that. Then we'll go on to making the broth uh, or cooking the crab and then making the broth and all that, all right? Let me show you guys the secret to making a perfect ramen egg. So make sure first that your egg is room temperature. Then you're gonna take something with a fine point, very fine point, I'm just using these scissors. You're gonna make a real tiny hole at the base. <sighs> just like that. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna release the pressure inside the egg. So you've boiled an egg and you've had it kind of explode in while it's boiling, right? It kind of shells break apart and the egg whites come out. The air pocket inside the egg expands when you boil it. It's not the egg expanding, but the little air pocket inside the egg. That's gonna release the pressure. And don't worry, poking a hole in one side of the egg is not gonna make the egg come out. All right, now we'll just let that boil for a total of five minutes. But depending on the size of your egg, this is a large egg, so five minutes. You've got an extra large egg, probably six minutes. Straight into a nice bath. So on a hard surface, lightly crush the shell. The air pocket didn't completely escape because you can see that kind of divot there, but it would have been much bigger if I didn't poke that hole. And check this out, you just peel it. So easily, comes off. Look at that, easy. This is soy sauce, just soy sauce. And I'm gonna do half soy sauce and half mirin. Because I'm not curing it for a long time, I'm gonna keep that curing liquid very strong. Usually, you could dilute it a bit with about a cup of water and let that cure for two days. And I'm just gonna drop it in there. I'm only doing a single egg, cause that's all I need. And we will have this uh, cured egg with our ramen. These guys been on ice, so they slow down dramatically. But I'm gonna dispatch, dump them in the, dump them in the boiling salt water. Right. Boom, boom, that's it. Close the lid and make sure the water comes back to boiling. Cause dropping those cold crabs in there dramatically drop the temperature of the water. And we're gonna boil that for 10 minutes. The crabs are done cooking now. So let's just dump it straight into the ice water. Take the apron off. We're gonna take the carapace off. I'm gonna keep that. I'm just gonna actually dump this back directly into the stock that we're gonna make. The same water that I boiled, boiled the crabs in. Just gonna throw the heads back in there. All of this stuff too. Just all that, all that goodness. You see that? That's all flavor. Now I'm gonna shake it off in there. I'm adding kombu, that's dried kelp. This is dehydrated shiitake mushrooms. I'm gonna put about 10 in there. This is just gonna incorporate so much more umami. This is, it's all flavor right here. Really deep flavors. Now we'll just bring that back to a boil and we'll simmer it. Now we're just gonna extract all the crab meat. And you know how that goes. It's time consuming, but it's worth it. All right, Jocelyn's not here. She just went down really quick. I'm gonna take a taste. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Ooh. Some things never get old, like crab. Hey guys, if you like crab, support my channel by hitting that thumbs up. You know, better for the YouTube algorithm, help my channel grow. and the heat is already off. I'm gonna add some katsuobushi. There you go. And let that sit just for a minute. All right, I think the broth is done. Let's give it a little taste. Oh, oh that is packed with flavor. Oh, it's so good. It's so good just like this. 
broth. Oh, yeah, give me just a bowl of broth. That's so good. I'm gonna put just what I need for my ramen back into the pot. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil again. Got my fresh ramen. And this comes with a miso flavor soup base too. So I'm gonna add the miso right into that broth. Fresh ramen is always better than the dry ramen. It's like 10 times better than dry ramen. And if you make your own, 100 times better. But I didn't make my own. <laughs> All right, just gonna squeeze this miso paste mixture in here. I'm also gonna add a little nub of butter. Boom. Because in that lobster one, we had a lot of butter. So it wouldn't be fair if I didn't add a little bit of butter for the crabs. I have my cured egg here. Let me just cut this. Ooh, that's it. <laughs> How are you gonna get it out? It's hmm. <laughs> a good question. There we go. Ooh, cured about an hmm, hour and a half, maybe. Ready for this? Yeah. Yeah, this is good, but if you cure it for one or two days, the, the, the egg whites get a little more firm and it has a much better texture. And right now, since I did that pretty strong cure, um, it was able to penetrate a little bit into it. But also after a day or two, the egg will start curing too, and it will become much thicker and brighter color. And it is much better, but I'm not going to wait two days, let my crabs go bad, you know what I mean? I'm gonna, I want my crab fresh, so these eggs are good. Got boiling water, got my fresh ramen. Just gonna toss that in. This is only gonna take about a minute. Now, come over here. Check these bowls out. I made both of these bowls, by the way. Taku, 2010. Ooh, handcrafted. I wanna get back into ceramics too. Been wanting to do that. Okay, anyways, Ryu. Them both. Ooh, mm. it smells so good. See how starchy this water is? So you want to cook that the noodles separately. The egg. And of course, our Dungeness crab. This is the body meat here. Togarashi, Japanese, uh, Japanese pepper. There you have it, guys. That is the Dungeness Crab Ramen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, I'm not done. Hold on, hold on. Got a little hit of myself. It's not complete without a couple claws in there. Come back. Mm. Good. Goose Island IPA. Nice. Belching beaver pesh a la mode. I'm gonna try the broth first. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that is flavor town. <laughs> Ooh, so far maybe better than most. Ooh. Alright. Let's do this noodle pull. Anytime somebody eats ramen on camera and then puts it on YouTube, 
there's always in the comments like do you really have to slurp your noodles actually in japan yes you do short mm -hmm. answer is yes you do have to slurp your noodles a scientific reason as well as just a cultural reason if you slurp the noodles you're getting air at the same time so you're cooling down these hot noodles and also air enhances flavor or i'm sorry oxygen enhances flavor and in japan if you eat your noodles like this they'll make fun of you egg it's just phenomenal Ooh. this might beat the lobster ramen beautiful egg let's give that a try Just look at the beauty of this. The broth is so good, I forgot about my crab. <laughs> I still have so much crab. <laughs> look at that. Just look at that. You think the broth has a better flavor? I think so. Right when it hits your mouth, when it hits your tongue, there's just this burst of energy and you can taste the miso right away and then there's this lingering crab flavor that's just so so good you can even kind of feel the butter too yeah a little bit mm -hmm. gives it a nice little fattiness you can just like take a bath in this mm -hmm. oh yeah and then just drink the broth mm. marinate yourself in this broth <laughs> <laughs> In general, mm -hmm. do you like crab or lobster more? In general, I like I like crab more. Mm. In general, yeah, for sure. Like I've always loved crab more. I think the other reason is because I never ate that much lobster, mm -hmm. you know. But crab is available here, and then yeah, we're able to eat crab a lot more often, and just love crab. Like who doesn't love crab? But then when I had that lobster ramen, I was like, geez, this is freaking good but now i have this and now it's like maybe the crab crab's back on top maybe now mm -hmm. and it's like oh man it's hard to really make up my mind completely <laughs> every time i have it just <laughs> just yeah. like becomes better and better so yeah have it side i'm gonna by side. yeah i guess you have to have it side by side to really mm -hmm. be like this one is better claw meat baby mm. oh Delicious. Ooh. That, was mm. that was so good. I mean, it's the fastest we've eaten. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it is though. Just a little meat there. Snatching up my meat. If you hadn't dropped Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Mm. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And see you guys next time. Peace. Another delicious meal in the books. Mm -hmm. Maybe next time you can make your own ramen noodles. Yeah, I mean, that's the only way it could get better, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of flavor on this spoon. Yeah. <laughs>